this club more down here on the back side. Yeah. Like if there is a big block of wood here, yeah. I want you to feel like your downswing is trying to chop that. But as long as you keep turning the way you do, you're, you're going to miss that part of the ground to get to the golf ball. So you've got a super quick tempo in your swing too. Again, if we started to get you more swinging like Freddie Couples, you're ruined, yeah. right? That's your normal tempo. We just have to, we just have to try and find a way to create just a little bit of time to get that down here more, yeah. right? And chop that wood that's behind your left ankle before you start turning through. Okay. Okay, that's exactly where you were aimed, yep. and that ball's drawn. Yeah, that felt perfect. All right, so let's actually take this over the green side so you can see it. So here's your line. And I just want you to feel like you can kind of set up somewhere, you know, square to that stick. Go for it. good but it was that's straight. exactly so trying to feel like you're building in a draw I don't want to change you to a draw golfer yeah. I just want to give you the feeling of what it's like so that you can fix the big fade one right yeah. so it's kind of like finding a feel in the opposite direction to find the middle ground yeah. but I would say that you know not only today what I want to do but going forward and anything that you do to improve your golf game it has to be a lot more about feel about trying to get the club to kind of on the right path rather than changing arm bends and wrist bends and grip. Yeah. If someone wants to change the grip, run, <laughs> run fast. <laughs> Go to a longer club. Yeah. Four? Yeah, great. Like these are missiles, aren't they? Yeah, feels good. Okay, so uh, one other thing that I want to kind of tackle. So this is going to be basically on your target line. Right? And I want you to see what you can do about feeling like you start the ball on this side. On that side of yeah, it? Yeah, on the left side. Because if it starts left and draws back, yeah. it goes toward the hole. But when you look down, I bet that left side of that can looks like way left, huh? Yeah, Come on back here. It feels like I'm aiming at the blue flag. Now look at the can. Standing yeah. right in line with the ball, the can, yeah. and the and the, yeah. and the flag. It's right yeah. there. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it's a it's a visual illusion yeah. because we stand all the way over here. Yeah. So when I'm standing here and you're like, hey, start it to the left of that thing, I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. But that's where it has to go. Yeah. I've created a monster. <laughs> okay, so what would have been like? Give me your words in terms of what we've adjusted today. I feel you like didn't touch your grip. Yeah, I know. I think the main thing for me is just on my downswing, really enforce coming this way and down yep. through. Yep. Which I'm trying with every club, and like even then, like so about 52, and I don't really hit it too well. But even that was like it felt really good. Cool. In okay. here. So jump up into a spot for me, into a into a ball, and I'll talk about something here real quick. This is something you can do like at home if you have a wall that you can do it with. So set up to a shot. So about one foot back from your feet, there's a really big wall. against like the white wall in your living room you're gonna have some ugly marks <laughs> but you know garage maybe yeah. yeah really good and I think that if you ever have a situation where the driver's not going well you have to feel like you hit a little pop fly to left field just push it out to the left a little bit as a feeling um, and you'll start to get an idea wow that that push left actually goes straight so therefore, my internalization of left is straight. Yeah. 